For an artist of such incredible talent, it's surprising how little we know about Rajendra Dhawan. What we do know about his work tells us that it's quiet, contemplative. There's something almost meditative about his use of colors. The colors are strong. Uh, as you can see, he uses bold uh, shades, tones and notes. However, there's something muted uh, in their execution and the way they come through. There's nothing else. There are no clues. He was very reticent, didn't come out, didn't seek collectors, audiences, the media. So what he was thinking of when he was painting is something that remains uh, a mystery to us. When I look at the work here, what comes to my mind is haikus, uh, lyricism, poetry, music, sounds, melody. I don't know what his imagination was communicating, but when I stand in front of them, I can meditate in front of these works. There's something extremely beautifully contemplative about them. Uh, it's, these are timeless works. They, they will survive long uh, beyond the artist's life. The artist passed away in 2012, almost uncelebrated in his lifetime. It's our joy to be able to view these works after his passing and to be able to share them with viewers and the richness and resonance that they keep alive. What's interesting to me is his use of brush strokes. When you look closely at the canvases, you can see that he uses brush strokes almost in a frenzied manner, close to the surface. When you view them from some distance, what you get are patches of color, tones and a softness which belies that frenzy. Eventually, I think he's attempting to show that underneath calm, underneath a surface somewhere, there is a lot that is happening. And I think somewhere that is almost akin to the human situation where our thoughts, our imaginations are always alive, but our veneer is one that may be very different.